now for the heartbeat of any band or orchestra. In this project, we'll show you how to make some fantastic drums out of cookie tins and flower pots and a whole range of different drumsticks. First, some side drums. Here are the things you will need. Different shaped cookie tins, some giant balloons, colored paper, a tube of glue, colored adhesive tape, a pair of scissors, and some drapery cord. And this is what you do. Cut out a strip of colored paper long enough to go round the cookie tin and spread glue over the back of it. Then stick the piece of paper all the way around the tin like this, smoothing it down as you go. Now cut out some squares of colored paper and glue one to the tin so it looks like a diamond. Cut out some more squares of paper in another color and stick one next to the first square. Glue squares all the way around the tin. Then finish decorating it with crisscross stripes of narrow tape. Now, cut the top off of a giant balloon. Stretch the balloon right over the top of the cookie tin. And tape the edges down all the way around the tin, like this. Then take the drapery cord and tape it to one side of the drum. If you use tape the same color as some of the diamonds, it won't show up. Do the same thing at the other side of the drum. There! A real drum! Now let's make a tom-tom. Here are the things you will need. Two plastic flower pots, some white cotton muslin, 16 feet of gold cord, and a needle. And this is what you do. Stand one of the flower pots upside down on the cloth and draw around it to make a circle. Then draw another circle three quarters of an inch out from the first one. And a third circle three quarters of an inch out again. And cut out the largest circle. Cut slits all the way around the edge of the circle, as far in as the middle circle. Glue the outer circle and fold the edges in, like this. Now cover each flower pot in colored paper. Use a different color for each pot. Then stand one flower pot on top of the other and tape them together with adhesive tape. Wind it round several times to hold the pots firmly in place. Mark 16 spots all around the circle with the pencil. Watch carefully and you will see how to space them out evenly. Then push the point of the pencil through the spots to make 16 holes. Now thread a needle with the gold cord and sew it in and out of the holes right around the circle of cloth, leaving the two ends free. Then put the circle of cloth over the top of one of the flower pots.
tie the ends of the cord together and pull them tight to hold the cloth in place. Then tie the ends in a knot. Do the same thing with the other flower pot. Then lace the two drum skins together by threading cord in a zigzag between the stitches around them. Pull the ends of the cord until both drum skins are really tight. Then tie the ends together in a knot. Now put some glue on one drum skin and spread it all over with your finger. Then do the same to the other drum skin. Now tug the zigzag strings again to pull the drum skins tighter and tie the ends of the cord in a firm knot. There, a tom-tom. Doesn't it look good? To play the drums, you must have some drumsticks. And here are the things you will need. Chopsticks, kebab sticks, and large knitting needles some colored felt, cotton, some string, corks, some wooden beads, plastic drinking straws, clear varnish, poster paints and a paintbrush, tape, scissors and a tube of glue. And this is what you do. Once you've decorated the sticks, take a chopstick and push a painted cork onto the end of it. For this one, take another chopstick and wrap some short split pieces of drinking straws around one end. Wind a piece of sticky tape around them a few times to hold them in place. Then wind some more tape around them really tightly a little higher up. How about this one? A wooden bead on the end of a chopstick. Here's another one made with a large cork that's been painted and varnished. What about a double-ended beater? Fix some wooden beads onto the end of a kebab stick and then roll a narrow triangle of felt around the other end. For a big mallet, put some cotton on a square of felt, stand a knitting needle on it, and fold the edges of the felt up over the cotton. Then wind some string tightly around the felt to hold it in place. Tie the ends together in a knot. and trim them. And fluff the edges of the felt out a little. Six different drumsticks. The best way to play the side drum is with two drumsticks like this. Try making different shaped drums and beating them with the same drumstick. What about a cork mallet? And here's the felt one. And now the bead beater. What a wonderful sound! To play the tom-tom, hold it in the crook of your arm and beat it with your hand. Or try a softer sound with the straw drumstick. 
Try out as many drums as you can and experiment with the different sounds and rhythms you can make.